much like start with you first, if you don't mind, then it's been a, a terrific year for you, I'd say, for, for our and then and for your full end rent. Um I think we have a present that we pay every minute for for Yeah, rent. yeah. Uh, and you started all the, the qualifying games for Ireland. I mean, describe for me the, the year from your point of view and how you've enjoyed it. Yeah, obviously I've been really, really enjoying my football. Um, as players, what we want to do is, is play lots of games and um, touch wood, stay injury free, which I've managed to do. And um, yeah, no, I'm really, really enjoying my football at the minute. And um, yeah, I think the the um, yeah the form I've shown, obviously for and electors, has helped me. Um, yeah, start so many games for Ireland, and I'm obviously delighted with that. Obviously, Vincent Company at Anderlecht and Stephen Kenny have showed great, great faith in you, and you're, you're anxious to, to repay that, I'm sure. I mean, what, what have they said to you in terms of your game and how you can improve it? Yeah, I think um, you're obviously working with the with the manager at Anderlecht daily has been been brilliant for me over the last last year or so, and then obviously every time I've been able to meet up with the with the squad here, um, with the manager and the coaches, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm fortunate. To um, to be able to work with with a lot of good coaches, good managers, and um, yeah, I, I learn off them daily. Um, and I'm someone that's trying to always improve my game. And um, yeah, like I said, playing the amount of games I have over the last year has helped me. Um, yeah, implement what I've been working on in training and and so forth in the games. So um, yeah, it's been it's, it's been an enjoyable period. How would you describe the campaign so far? I mean, it, it's been a difficult one in terms of, of results, but there's been a market improvement, would you say? Yeah, um, obviously to start with the, the results, like you said, weren't like we would have all wanted. Um, but I think it's been clear to see that it's been a bit of a, a transitioning period, obviously with the with the manager being being new into the job for the for the last year or so. Um, but I think you're starting to see the, the rewards um, on the pitch in terms of results. Um, and we're just looking to, to carry on building on that now. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Jason, has it been a frustrating for you in terms of Ireland and, and the injuries that you picked up? Um, well, since the start of the season, I've sort of I picked up a couple of injuries, a couple of knocks that sort of set me back. But um, I think you always get them in your career, and it's just down to getting working hard and trying to get back in the in the fold. Obviously, Josh and the lads have done done really well the last sort of couple of camps, and it's it's going to be difficult to get back in there. But you got to keep pushing, and it's going to make us as a, a country and as a team better. We've obviously playing a lot of football for Derby at the moment, to the towards the bottom of the championship. How's your game progressing under that sort of pressure? I think it's it's progressing well. I think I'm maturing a lot. Um, obviously, like you say, it's under a lot of pressure. Um, with the certain stuff that's going back on in Derby, um, but no, I think it's going to help me in the long run, sort of mature as a player. And and obviously, I'm playing a lot of games, which I'm I'm really happy about. Are there aspects of your game that you feel you need to improve? Yeah, definitely. Uh, all aspects, I suppose. Scoring goals, getting get more assists, that sort of side of the game as well. And then obviously, you can always improve technically and tactically as well. And the gaffer here and the, the gaffer back in Derby is is really great for that. Yeah, the one in Derby. Does he help you? In terms of goal scoring, getting into the box and practicing. Yeah, he does a lot. Obviously, there's there's not many people better to sort of teach you in that in that way. Um, but it's just that confidence thing. You know, you, you get one goal, you might get two or three the next week. You know what I mean? So it's just trying to put that run of run of scoring goals and getting assist in um, in consecutive games and, and being that consistent. In terms of the game against Portugal, it, it's special, isn't it? Not just Ronaldo and the quality of them, but a full house as well. It feels like the biggest game in quite some time yeah of course it's going to be a great game it's going to be a really difficult game obviously with Portugal coming but like you say a, a full house it's going to be a great great <laughs> occasion and, and hopefully we can put on a good performance thanks very much Paul hi just a quick one for, for, for both of you first obviously Stephen's contract is up uh, in the summer and the FAI are going to review the campaign uh, this month would you like to see Stephen offered a, an extension Josh yourself first yeah for me 100% um, I think as I mentioned before, the progression that the the team's shown over the last um, yeah year or so, and and, uh, and working together has been been really enjoyable. I know I'll probably speak on um, behalf of all the lads that, that we're fully behind the manager and and believe in what what he's trying to do. We're enjoying the the style of football we're playing, and um, I think, like I said, we're starting to see the rewards. Results-wise, um, from the performances we've been putting in, so 
um, yeah, for me, it's it's a pretty straightforward answer. Um, mm. Yeah, one hundred percent want the manager to stay. What do you think, uh, Jason? Do you go along with that? Yeah, just reflect what uh, Josh says. Absolutely the same, and on a personal level as well, he's he's gave me my chance. Um, obviously with him with the twenty ones, and he's brought me up and and gave me eight senior caps so far. So I'm obviously really grateful so far with that, and, and I wanted to see him to continue and, and hopefully me continue underneath them. Good stuff. Thank you. David? Uh, Josh, can I just ask, you, you, Ronaldo was mentioned, and Cristiano Ronaldo was mentioned, he barely gave him the kick in Portugal for 89 minutes, and then he comes and does that. Does that just show how special he is? Yeah, of course. Um, it's probably one of, if not the only player in world football that could have scored those two goals. Um, we know what a, a special player he is, um, and yeah, obviously we managed to do it for 89 minutes, but we would have um, much preferred to have done it for for 95 or whatever whatever it was in the in the end. And that's what we'll be looking to do Thursday night. Um, I think we can take a a lot of encouragement from the performance we we put in out there, and um, yeah, we'll be looking to do um, a similar job on Thursday night. But like I said, to turn a, a good performance and hopefully get a, a good result as well. In these two games, the manager's spoken about looking to the next Euros. How big is this week in terms of preparing for the Nations week and for that campaign? Yeah, I think any um, any time we get to meet up as as a squad is is valuable. Um, the time we we get together on the training pitch to to keep learning and, and keep developing as a team. Um, so yeah, not just this week, but but any time we we get together as a squad. Um, it's key for us to, to, to keep getting better and improving every time. Thank you. Ed? Uh, so just, I suppose just since the game, the first game of Portugal was so recent and so vivid, so, you know, it was such a memorable occasion and still so fresh in the memory. Um, how, what's the buzz like in the camp in terms of just thinking about this game and sort of uh, looking to really come back and maybe get a result this time around and, you know, because you've had a chance to see them up, up close in person, maybe it's taken a little bit of fear factor away from, from you when you're facing them on a tourism Is that the case? Yeah, I think um, as a squad, like I said, we're, we believe we're improving and getting better. Um, whether it was Portugal or whoever it was to to be able to play in front of a, a full house for, for, for our country is, is a huge honour and I'm sure everyone's looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, we're just we're just all all raring to go to to get out there on Thursday and yeah, put in a good performance and like you said, hopefully get a good result. And just do you think in terms of Portugal's approach to this game, I suppose they'll have, they'll show you an extra element, extra level of respect perhaps in that sense, and maybe they might come with a more cautious uh, approach to this game, uh, which is a really important game for them as well. So, um, do you think that will help in your in your favour? Yeah, I mean it's it's hard to say. We know that they're, they're a quality outfit, and um, however they come to approach the game, I'm sure they'll be be well prepared as we are. And um, yeah, we know it's going to be a tough game, but it's one where we're looking forward to um, testing yourselves against some of the best players in the world. So no, it's a uh, yeah one I'm sure Knight will agree we're we're looking forward to. And and um, yeah, like I said, we're, we're just focused on putting in a, a good performance, and and hopefully the the result will follow. Jason, Jason, just I know you're, you missed the game in Faro, you were come back to your ankle injury. Just tell us where did you watch it and what did you think? I, I watched it at home, um, at home in Derby. Uh, no, look, I watched the lads, they, they performed really, really well, and unfortunately we lost the game, but um, I think we took a lot of encouragement from that and we took it into the next camp and, and got two very good results. So um, I think we can take a lot of encouragement from that performance and hopefully go and get a good result against a, a really good team. Yeah, definitely. Look, Josh has been excellent. Um, ever since I've come into the camp, he's been really, really good for Ireland. Performed to a really high level. And he's someone I can look towards and, and say, if I can do that, uh, or if he can do it, I can get in there as well. And it's just about pushing each other. I know um, there's a lot of really good midfielders in the squad. So it's a, it's a really good competition. Um, and that's only going to make us better, better, like I said earlier. Okay, that ends the live section now. So any uh, transmission for that, please turn off. Um, and then we're going to the environment section and environment session 11pm tonight. So.
Gavin, was that yourself there? Yeah. Um, Josh, how are you? you, you you've definitely been asked about life in Amrek before and the yeah. question about you know, the this career decision you made and all that. Considering that you've gone so well with where we're sitting like 90 minutes every week and um, what's the, where are you stand on it now as a career choice as, a, as an option because you, you could still be in England doing your thing or whatever, but you made it, you, it's just so unique. What, what, how, how, how really, how would you, you advise somebody who might be thinking about doing the same thing? Yeah, I definitely encourage anyone who who has the opportunity to to do what I've done. Um, I think it has to be the the right choice. I, I wouldn't uh, just say to someone, "I'll oh, just go abroad for the sake of it." I think you have to look at it as a as a package. I suppose the club and the manager and and when I looked at that, um, everything seemed to fit together really nicely, and um, I saw it as an opportunity to to go and learned under a manager who obviously his reputation speaks for himself um, the managers he's played under in his career the career he had to go and learn under someone like that has, has been fantastic over the last year and to go and play for for a massive club this this um this really held in in high regard all around europe um historically and has a lot of ambition to to get back to the top of belgian football as well so um yeah like i said it, it um all parts of the, the jigsaw, I suppose, fit together really nicely, and um, yeah, um, things are going going well at the minute. But I know I have to, to keep my, my foot on the pedal and, and um, make sure that that continues. Jason, can I ask the same question in the sense that you're, you're working for a pretty well known coach as well in Wayne Rooney? Uh, it's a really difficult period of time at the moment, obviously, for the club, but uh, how much influence is Wayne having on your uh, How much influence is he having on you, particularly? Yeah, of course. Everyone, everyone knows what the gaffer um, in Derby has done in his career, but he's been great personally for me on a one-to-one -one basis. Sort of give me little snippets of information I can develop my game, and um, and he's been great. Obviously, we're going through a tough period, like you say, but he's been really, really good with me and, and helping me improve my game, and and hopefully I can keep developing that and and really perform well for for Derby and for Ireland. Neil. Josh, you said there about how Ronaldo was probably the only person in the world football who could score those goals. Is there anything you, you could have done different, like a taking the enabling to put even analysis of the goals, whereby Ronaldo could afford to gamble, but the defender can't, you know, tells the world across it's going to go. Is there anything you can do to combat that? Yeah, I think it's, it's um, probably trying to, to, to cut off the supply to him um, a bit better. Like I said, I don't think you can really... Um, Say anything about anyone trying to beat him in the air. Um, it's a it's a very hard thing to do. So I think as a team, um, yeah, we've just got to try and cut off the supply to him as best we can. Um, and yeah, I'm sure, like I said, the the manager and, and the coaches we have will will come up with a, a solid game plan to be able to do that. Question for the, the two lads: the club managers have an experience of Ronaldo playing, obviously playing with them. And your manager has spent a lot of his time trying to stop and score at the club level. I know it's a busy schedule, but is there time to speak to have a little word with the managers to doubt him and what he's like from, from a teammate point of view or from a bonus point of view? Um, well, I've talked to the gaffer about his career and, and he's come up a couple of times and, and how professional he lives his life and stuff like that. But I think you sort of watch him on, on the TV, you sort of see he's obviously one of the best players to play. And, and like Josh says, it's, it's hard to stop him, but I think... Portugal have a lot of very good players and it's not just against Ronaldo you're playing, you know what I mean? You have to look and focus on other players and the whole team as a as a collective and that's what we're going to try and do on, on Thursday night. For me, I'll be honest, I haven't spoke to the, to the manager about Ronaldo. Um, yeah, um, I think yeah, company's very um, focused on, on what we're trying to do at, at, at Andalect and um, yeah. I'd be lying if I said I'd had a conversation with Ronaldo, um, with him, or well, about Ronaldo with him, sorry. Alan? Yeah. Hey Jason, uh, when you did that interview back in August, the reports were it was quite a freak incident. Can you say how it happened? It was just a, it was a training game, and, um, just a slip from the gaffer um, in training. I think it's, it's been well documented um, in the past, but no, it was just a, a freak accident, and, and thankfully I'm back from it, and I'm, I'm sort of playing a lot now, and, and I'm doing all right. Um, I hope he was devastated, <laughs> but um, no, he, he obviously didn't mean it, and, and it kind of kept me out for a, a few weeks, and it sort of 
something I've had to learn from because I haven't had too many injuries so far. So it's something I've had to deal with and, and I've come past that and sort of feel stronger for it. Yeah, it's difficult times, but there's still some there's still some great people there. Obviously, going to administration, some people were fearing for their their jobs and their, their livelihoods. But no, it's a great it's a great place to play, um, especially as a young player coming through. There's some great coaches, some great people behind the scenes, and I'm just in, I'm I'm enjoying playing me football there at the moment. Paul, Josh, just ask you when you're playing against a team the caliber of Portugal, basically do you have to do a step up a bit. Yeah, I think that goes without saying. Uh, like Knighty touched on before, um, they have world cup class players all over the pitch, and um, of course we have to step up and, and perform well on the night. And if we don't, then we'll know we'll get punished. So um, yeah, I think it goes without saying that we know we have to be at the, the top of our game on Thursday night if we if we want to be able to to put in a good performance and, and get a good result. Jason, you are very unfortunate with it. Absent of the training ground in the summer. But do you feel that if you've done enough games under your belt and if you're asked to start on Thursday, you'd be well capable of doing Yeah, definitely. I feel confident in myself to play whenever the gaffer asks me to, to step in. And I think, it's look, it's going to be a tough game, isn't it? It's Portugal. Um, but I think everyone feels confident, obviously, on the back of a, a good couple of camps. And uh, I think we're in a good place going into the game on Thursday. Dan? Yeah, just one question for Jason. Then. Jason, with Ireland now, the same system has been played for the last couple of games. It seems to be settled into it. And you've sometimes been used as one of the almost like the front three or two behind the striker. How do you find that position? In the past, you got a chance at it in the last month. But how do you find that role? Yeah, look, I really like it. Um, look, as long as I'm playing, um, I'm happy. You know what I mean? So. Um, I've, I've played a lot of positions for Derby as well, so I've, I've sort of know it um, quite well. And obviously the the gaffer here has, has seen me play that for Derby, so he feel com he feels comfortable putting me in there. So it's um no, it's been really good to play in, in different positions. It's sort of another strength to me, Bo, I suppose. But you wouldn't be phased like being asked to play a bit deeper either. If, if, if either no, definitely not. I, I feel comfortable and um, I feel comfortable on the ball wherever I, I'm going to play, and and hopefully I can just get some minutes. Any further questions? Last one. Uh, just one for Josh. Um, how would you assess the World Cup campaign, Josh, so far, and how important is it to sign off on a high? Yeah, I think it's, it goes without saying it's very important to, to sign off in the, in the best fashion we can. Obviously, every game you get to, to pull on the jersey for your country is a, a huge honour, and, and we want to finish with two strong performances and, and finish the group with, with as many points as we can. Um, obviously, we know we probably... Well, we did start the, the group too slowly and ultimately gave ourselves too much work to do to, to try and catch up. But um, I think, as I mentioned before, it's been a transitioning period for the side and the squad. And um, I think we can definitely take a, a lot of positives out of the performances um, which have been put in recently. And, um, and I think that will stand us in good stead for, for, the, for the future campaigns coming up. OK, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.